having an exclusive interview with Tim Hilton and Sherry, I'm sorry, I don't know your last name. Miller. Sherry Miller. Uh, of Oh, thanks for that. Of like Nana Grizzle slash Theo Hilton and Cherry Miller collaboration project. Uh, so my first question is, if you could only take ten albums with you, you know, let's say five, five albums with you to Desert Island, what would they be, and if you want, why? Five? That's too bad. That's too many. <laughs> Do you not like music? Honestly, <laughs> honestly the, the low album, Drums and Guns, um, I'm like kind of freaking out Actually, about. I don't think this is recorded. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I am recording. I am recording. I I so good. Oh, but it might have been. Okay. Let me just take it over. <laughs> uh, this is Jacob Newman from Radioactive Radio Wings, and I'm here with Theo Hilton and Sherry Miller of Man of Grizzle. Uh, and I want to know, well, uh, I want to know what their top five favorite albums are if they could go to an album, go to an island and only listen to those albums. Um, the first well, the first one that came to my mind was Drums and Guns by Low. I just really like it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm sure you get the second one. You just have to go with personal obsession, so probably the first one in my life would be the Stand By Me soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, um, the album Silk and Soul by Nina Simone is really great. It just, there's a song... Um, Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but I, it's uh, it's really good. Sure, you got the next one. I just it was Bell and Sebastian something. <laughs> uh, but but early, like uh, the early one, like the green one. Um. Oh oh oh, Janelle Monae. If it was today, oh, yeah. I'm really into Janelle Monae right now. Um, That's cool. Those are good albums. Oh good. Uh, well, you pass. You pass. <laughs> you get to be on the radio station now. Uh, so I guess my next question is along the lines of, I'm really curious where the name Nana Grizzle comes from, and I can't find it anywhere online. So I, I did research it. So um, have you heard of Foucault? <laughs> also, well, what? <laughs> also, Theo Zum, Zoom. I don't even know how to say that. Yeah. Oh, the, the, actually, there's one answer to both of those questions. Um, when I was starting, when I was about 18. Um, Back in Athens, Georgia, <laughs> long ago, in 2001, um, I uh, I would join a punk band with some of my best friends, Jared Dandy and Dane Marks, and the band was called Zum Zum, and it was so fun. We would practice like seriously, we practiced every day for like five hours, like all the time. We were just like constant Zum Zum, you know. It was like I really, it was it was a great experience. <laughs> Anyway, so so Zum Zum, like when we first came up with some recordings, we just had like some devices, kind of like what we got here, and I had a computer, and we were just like kind of yeah. we used iMovie, like a really early version of iMovie, to like edit our first album thing, you know, and we'd be like, this is video, and we made this like big zine to go with it, and the zine was just like some art that we'd made and some like bits of like you know local news and you know like some short stories and stuff, and um, and one of the stories was. Um, was this kid, it was this kid who was writing like, how I learned about anarchy, you know, and I remember <laughs> there were all these like characters, like this really kind of just like bratty like story about all this school, you know, and it was like, and the, you know, there were characters in the story, like the principal of the kid's school, his name is, is Dr. Snodgrass, you know, and we were trying to figure out the kid's grandma's name for some reason, who became the matriarch for Zumzum, and so we came up with Nana Grizzle, but that was because, because at the same time, like, I was, you know, imagine, like, you're, like, this queer dude, kid, like, young, Athens, Georgia. It's a college town, but it's a small college town. And there are not a lot of, like, cool, like, queer punk rock kids to hang out with. And so, so you just see all these crushes on these straight boys all the time, and you're like, oh, they wish they could come to And so, so I have this big crush on this guy named Jorge. He now lives in New York, which is only he's a filmmaker. I don't have a crush on him anymore. But, um, <laughs> but this woman moved to town. And she became sort of part of our scene, you know. And, uh, and she kind of had a thing for her, too, you know. <laughs> they kind of hit it off. And her name was Letitia. And, um, and so I was trying to describe her to my friend, Emily, one time. And she was like, well, what's your name? And I was like, oh, God. It's something like Griselda or, like, Lysol or Grizzle or something, you know. And, so, and then we, like, later on, we were like, oh, Grizzle. Ha, 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 you know. And, uh... And yeah, the girls all that's kind of awesome. Uh, okay, I have a question that I feel like is more—I don't know who's interested. 
and emphasize me, but like I said, Sandiverse is one of my favorite bands. Probably like, I can't decide if it's in my top five or top ten, but I'm like obsessed with Michael Jordan touchdown pass. Oh, man. And you thank him in the out in the thing for Ruth. Yeah. I know he used to play horns in Nana Grizzle. Yeah. And I wanna know like how you met Oh hey. I wanna know what the ambulance thinks of Michael Jordan touchdown pass. Is Michael Jordan touchdown pass still He's still making yeah, stuff. He just he released demos uh, like last summer, but like they're great. And actually, there's a YouTube account that like is a friend of his who I think goes to college with him, where they like occasionally release singles. Oh, cool. And they're like, some of them are really good. He's the first I think time I have heard some that band. Here. He was 15. Yeah. <laughs> he was 15 years old. Yeah. Yeah. He's... I think we played a show. Really. Yeah, we did in Brattleboro. Because um, yeah. like. Planet X put out their record. It was this record, um, Cash Money, etc. It was awesome. Oh, so good. And he like recorded all the parts for it like on a four track at home. And he was like 15 years old. And his older brother Pat um, also makes yeah. music. And and Michael is. I understand he's now playing in we know, in what is it now? We're Ramshack Ramshackle Glory oh. is the new one. And um, um, but but Michael. So so we would go. Divides Ohio played a show with uh, Michael Jordan such a fast. And I get, became kind of obsessed with his music because I thought it was so terribly good. Like, it was so good. And so then, like, we sort of struck up a correspondence, and then it goes, I went and played with them. And then, and I, I'm remembering now, an important thing is that I never knew how old he was. It's not, it's not that important at all. But, um, 